Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks, and here's a pretty neat little design that anybody can draw, and it's pretty easy. Uh, there's no uh, limit to what you could do with it. There's no size that you have to uh, put in. So if you would just make some rounded corner ellipse or uh, rectangles. Now let's zoom in here a little bit and take this first one and control D and make a duplicate. Start moving it, but then hold down the control button. And what can I say by no size, you can make it as thick or thin as you want it up here. Take your smart fill tool and fill that in. Now we don't need this anymore. We'll just go and delete it. We'll actually unfill it. And the smart thing to do would be to take a two point line anywhere and hold down the control button so it's perpendicular. And then fill that in. Really, we could have done that at first. Now let's control D and make a duplicate and let's mirror it both directions. As you see, we got the, the exact opposite of each other. Place that corner X, and if you have snap to object, then we can weld this together, and we have a yellow shape of this sort. Hit the plus key on your keyboard, start moving it down, and hold down the control button. And this is where you can kind of play around with how much you want it spaced out. So the, I just hit control D twice, so it made it equal. We're going to control G to group that together and control D to duplicate it. And we're going to make the next one blue. We're going to take this blue one when we're going to double snap on the skew and we're going to skew this down. I actually needed to go the other way. Probably. Well, I need to move it down first. So what we'll do is we'll move it grab the four point and put it maybe to about the second one and then double click on it and get the skew and what the skew is going to skew from that angle and we're going to need to go a little bit more so possibly i should flip this around i've already done, there we go and if you look at it well, i was just starting on the wrong one then once you've got this yellow one hit the plus key on the keyboard and just move it down to that second row too. You can see we're a little closer on the second one, so we need to move it up. Maybe even still a little bit more. But this is, you know, there's no set perfect way. I, I, I like my first one better. But the second one looks pretty good. It looks like it's actually wrapping around. And if you wanted to stop this, you could left click, right click. We don't have to right click because it's already aligned. And then just take your two-point line and draw you a, don't start, don't hit your calculator button like I do all the time. Hit the delete, start moving then your line and then hold down your control button. And now if we fill this in with yellow, well, it's not working because it's actually going through there. So what you could do real fast, let's back up and take our blue and see what our nudge distance is. This thing is pretty big, so it's let's set our nudge factor on 18 and just nudge this blue out of the way. It didn't go to 18. Nudge this blue out of the way. Take your smart fill tool and fill these in th three with yellow, and now you've got just that. Now what we probably need to do is, is nudge the whole thing over. Let's tell you what, let's nudge the yellow down, yellow down, yellow down. Now we'll nudge that down and back over. And look at that. So it looks like it's gonna start from a, a ribbon and then continue on. And we need to do the same thing for the first one. Or we could probably take this and control G and group it together. And let's see if we can't mirror it both directions. Well, I didn't make a duplicate of it. So control D and make a duplicate. Mirror the other one the other way and both ways. And then that way it's gonna look like it's starting and stopping at the end of a ribbon. I don't have that one exactly right, but let's zoom in a little closer 
to get it dead on, get your four point cross and just, you know, you'd need to figure out which one you want to use, the middle of that one. We're pretty close. That looks pretty cool. Being an engraver, I can't really do that. We could probably try it with colors and make that a light gray and make this a, a blacker color and make this a light gray. And maybe if, if, if your drawing was right on top of each other, which I think might is, we could actually probably take away the lines by left clicking your mouse button or right clicking your mouse button. And that does look like it's folded over. Maybe put the, you know, since we have these grouped together, maybe we could put an outline on just the gray ones and not the black ones. See what that looks like. Anyway, just playing around. I hope that helped a little bit. Thank you for watching.